All right, to solve this one, um, I'm going to find a common denominator, multiply everything by it. You notice I have an x minus 5 here, an x plus 1 here. I'm going to factor this, see what multiplies to this. So uh, things that multiply to negative 5 add to negative 4 would be x minus 5 times x plus 1. So my lowest common denominator, I need both of those. I need an x minus 5. And notice I have it here, I have it here. I don't need it twice. Like that takes care of both of them. Same thing for the x plus 1. So I'm going to multiply everything by this lowest common denominator to try and divide out those denominators. So let me rewrite what I have so far. And I'm going to write this in the factored form like that. Multiply everything by this, x minus 5 times x plus 1, x minus 5 times x plus 1 x minus 5 times x plus 1. So before I do some simplifying, I'm going to cancel some stuff out. That divides out to a 1, that divides out to a 1. This divides out, and that divides out. So what I'm left with is 3x times x plus 1 minus 2x times x minus 5 equals, and notice that all divided out, negative 42. So I keep going from there, distribute that in there, 3x squared plus 3x. Distribute in that negative 2, negative 2x squared plus 10x equals negative 42. And I'll keep going from there. So that minus that is an x squared. 3x plus 10x is 13x equals negative 42. So now I have this quadratic to solve. Get it equal to 0. Um, add 42 to both sides. And then I'm going to try and factor that in order to solve it. And as I go to factor that, uh, 7 and 6 multiplies to 42, adds to 13. That should be a 13x. x plus 7 times x plus 6 equals 0. So that means that x would equal negative 7 or negative 6. And if I plug them back, both back in, they're going to work. There's my answer.